Hello and welcome to Key Stage 1 Maths. Today we're going to be counting in different ways, practicing our number formation and finally finishing with a game to practice all of those number skills. So, you will need your eyes, your ears and brains switched on. Grab yourself a piece of paper and a pencil and let's have some fun. If at any point you need to pause the video, please do so to give yourself some more thinking time. So we're going to warm up those maths brains by counting in different ways. Starting with counting in twos. Join in with me. Two. Four. Six. What comes next? Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Then. Perfect. You've got it. Counting in twos. You can also practice counting in fives. Join in with me. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Brilliant job, well done everyone. And counting in tens. Starting from zero. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. 80, 90, 100. Be careful to use that T sound, not teen, when counting in tens. Remember all those videos that we've been watching in class on YouTube, counting in different ways. Ask your adult to search counting in twos, counting in fives and counting in tens to keep practising at home. So, let's play a game. Behind our Moshi Monsters we have got some numbers hiding. Look really carefully on your piece of paper when you think you know the number, write it down. Be careful of how you are forming your numbers. Let's have a look. That was number seven. Make sure that you have written across the top and then straight back down when writing your number seven. Next number. Hmm, I can see a curve coming around and a hat on the top. I wonder what number that could be. Write it down if you think you know. There we have number five. Remember, draw down, around, and then put on his hat. If you didn't quite write it that way, have a practice now. Ooh, another number with a curved shape at the bottom, but I can't see a hat this time. you get it? Number six. So starting at the top, curl all the way round and join it back together again. Last one. There we have number eight. Remember, to slither down the snake and then join him back up again. If you want to practice your number formation further, join Miss Stepanuk on our little Big Maths number formation lesson. Now, I'm going to think of a number and give you some clues to see if you can guess my number. If you need to use a hundred chart to help you, you can use these numbers here. 
my number is going to be between these numbers. So my number is already on the screen. See if you can guess or work out what it is from my clues. So my first clue is I am a two digit number. So have a look and see which one of those it could be. My second clue is I am less than eight plus eight. So you'll need to work that one out. Remember, if you need to pause the video while you do that, please do, and then press play again and join us back. I am more than six plus six, and I am even. So you should have a number left that is on my screen. If it was me, I would probably write all of these numbers and cross out the ones that it couldn't be to help me narrow it down. My number is 14. Did you get it right? Well done. Next number. I have a different number in my head. Again, no bigger than 20. Let's see if you can work it out. I am a two digit, sorry, a two digit number again. I am less than eight plus five. So work that out. I am more than seven plus three. This time I am an odd number. So think carefully the difference between an odd and an even number. Have you got a guess? Let's see if you're right. I am number 11. This one's a little bit different, so listen carefully. This time we're going to start with 6. Then we're going to add the number that comes after 2. So work out the number that comes after 2, then add it to 6. Subtract or take away the number that comes before 5 and add one. Have you guessed my number? Number six. Well done, you're doing really well. A bit, a bit of a challenge to finish off with these. This time our number is going up to 50. Remember to use this if you need help. If you don't need it, challenge yourself and do it without. So this time my clues are I am greater than 40 but I am less than 50. Think about which numbers that could be. My ones digit is the number of sides on a triangle. Hmm. What number is it? 43. That was a bit of a trickier one, so I hope you did well at home. Thank you very much for joining me today to practice our Key Stage 1 Maths. We've been counting in different ways, we've practiced our number formation, and we finished off with a good guess my number game. See if you can create your own Guess My Number. And if you want to add it, please put it in the comments below for someone else to work out your answer. Thank you for joining me and take care. Bye.